Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Karen Shaddam, and uh, we're recovering from our Great Holy War against the Abbasids. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and uh, let the game uh, advance some time. And a son was born to our father, who is ugly. Uh, no special bloodlines, really. Or unusual bloodlines, I should say. Old treasures. Upon inspecting the old armory, my guards have found Juge crossbow, an old weapon. It must have belonged to Shahan Shah Bayrod, they inform me. Shame it's not in better shape, they mutter. Money is not an issue, or uh, we cannot afford to maintain all the old junk thrown our way. Oh, for crying out loud. I wanted some of this type of event, but I didn't want it to be this expensive. Alright, well, um... I think this is the one that I have equipped right now. Yeah, it is. I don't actually have another weapon. Money is not an issue. Okay. You are now my uh, concubine. Excellent. Don't know where that guy went. Let's go up here, take care of them. Get over there, take care of that one. Okay. You are also uh, that. Um, let's see. I don't mind keeping them around. Scouts bring word of a mystic blind man that supposedly works miracles. He appears around the villages and cures all manner of ailments, afflicting the peasants. There are even rumors that he made a lame man able to walk again. The peasants call him Sadri the Blind. A gift of gold would convince him to come to your court. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's pretty good. 24. I guess I'll pay 80 gold. Seek treatment for my illness. I suppose I should do that. Uh, I trust your knowledge, O wise one. I feel different. Ugh. Health minus two, all stats minus two, but I become a poet. I guess it's okay. A new realm. Kagan Oglon of Kotan has decided to abandon the domatic life and settle down in Kotan with his followers, making it a new homeland for the Kyrgyz people. Interesting. He must have conquered this guy. Because that was uh, Muslim, and of course uh, all of these guys are Muslim. Weird. Oh, whatever. Got some ingredients. Construction of Stage 1 has finished on Hormuz Harbor. Okay, so, uh, local tax modifier plus 2.5%, trade value plus 25, monthly prestige plus 0.1. Hmm. That is, uh, pretty nice. And I can't really afford any of the, uh, things. Esfahan Palace. Also can't afford any of the things. I can't afford the upgrade. Uh, need money so badly. Well. Okay, you have a new heir. I'll now play as my brother. Shahan Shah Shayan has ascended to heaven at age 36. He died of cancer. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of Ahura Mazda against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent memory. 
Shahanshah Vish Taz, but merely eight years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Shahanshah uh, Vish Taz. So be it. Let's go ahead and continue that. Let's go ahead and set crown focus here again. Let's actually get some more uh, commanders in charge here. Old treasures. What is it, I ask the guards? You have inherited this. Magnum opus on planetary astrology, one of them explains. From Shahanshah Shayon. Uh, he continues. If you want to keep it, we'll store it for you, master. It might need some maintenance, though. You cannot put a price on heirlooms like this. Spare no expense. Well, there goes my money. I don't really mind keeping them around. And immediately, Thieves Guild has uh, spawned in Ray. Thanks, game. Delbar is always so annoying. I think she tries to win against me in games just to uh, spite me. Eh, it doesn't matter. She can win. Great, I'm club-footed. I'm brooding, at least. Just Roth or Envy? Well... It's actually not all that great. Who is, uh, Court Tutor? Let's try assigning a Guardian who... Craven, you are just, you are diligent. A little bit afraid that if I s assign her, I will become Bedouin. I don't want that. Although I might actually have a choice in the matter. Maybe I'll wait until I'm a bit older. For now, I think I will go with her. Let's see what happens. Okay, you are captured. Uh, you can just get dead. Let's just uh, let some time pass. Uh, let's see. Offer to help out with your financial situation. Want some land? I don't like this kind of deal. Molly is such a caring uncle, always ready to lighten up the mood during a somber family dinner or play with the children. Even though we may disagree from time to time, I cannot deny his accomplishments as uncle. Excellent. Uh, also... I can prevent any further problems. Well, I suppose I can... Let's just ransom him. Let's get 74 gold. Um, borrow some money from the Jews. Peasants of Gurgen are slowly starting to respect my rule again. Thieves Guild and Samarkand... Okay, so it sounds like uh, there's three, two more things. Maybe three. Let's just close all those out. Need a new commander. Go with you for now. Uh, you're ending your plot. Okay, 200 gold. We can unpause the uh, caverns. I mean, at least...
least we'll live for a while. My mother is dead, unfortunately. There we go. Kick you out. Let's get back down there. Another stupid host. Yeah, it's that guy. Alright, I might need to uh, spend some time improving my uh, my domain a bit, uh, especially considering this situation. And I can upgrade these. It'll get more money. They did take Lahore. Now they're at war against the uh, Byzantines. Abbasid Holy War for Armenia. Hmm. They're still pretty powerful and big, and I dislike it. Troublesome peasants. And I should probably uh, get rid of that for now. Let's raise even more people. My uncle has requested to join the Immortals in their struggle against the Infidel. Uh, absolutely not. Now I'm at negative uh, piety. How much piety am I gaining? A fair bit. Okay, so we kicked them out. In that case, I will get you back here. Hopefully you'll be uh, close enough that you can move around a bit. Okay, I don't actually have an ambition at the moment. So I don't think I mind improving that. Retinue size. Yeah, let's just go with the Silk Road Market. Weak claim can be pressed. Negotiate with someone. Don't really care right now. We're just going to be uh, taking it a bit easy, trying to uh, get some more money and everything like that. Get some more retinue size. I mean, it doesn't... Like, to a certain extent, building the, uh, the mercenary garrison... This, uh, I mean, you get trade value, which is good, but garrison size? What the heck is the point of garrison size if sieging down this building destroys the trade post? Like, it really should be a, a case where they need to siege down this, 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 and then this, and then maybe it gets destroyed. I mean, it is only raiding, but still. Uh, I can hold a feast. I'm not sure if I will, if I can get just out of this as a kid. But let's try it. Guests would be impressed. Uh, I suppose I gotta go uh, take care of you. Use 
my recipe book. Uh, let's see, the majority of the population have been converted. Excellent. Okay, we've had uh, one county convert to Persian over here already. So that's pretty nice. Uh, looks like the Yom's Vikings have lost a little bit of land down here. Ireland is up in Caithness, as is totally historical. Hereby invite you. Don't like you either. Don't like you either. Don't like you either. I don't like any of you guys. Welcome to my feast. I had great fun, and so did everyone else. Well, was hoping for some just. <laughs> it's late at night, and I get out of bed to use the chamber pot. Farron starts calling my name, and I see a man hiding under the dining table. He notices me and whispers, Psst, come over here. Hide with the man. It may lead to playful. Uh, answer Farron. don't remember what Playful gets you. Gregarious, Deceitful, or Rarely Lunatic. Oh, I'd like Gregarious. Let's hide with the man. Farron stops calling for me after a while. The man says, I bet you this gold coin you can't hold your breath until I'm outside. Easy money? I go with easy money. Before I knew it, the man was running out through the door. He didn't even look back once. I win. Easy. I gain the trait playful. Well, hopefully that doesn't lead to deceitful. Uh, 425. What is the amount of money that I need for one of these? Okay, um, let's take the City Vassal Opinion. Great seminars. We can hold the great courses at the University of Persia. Form an alliance, it's fine with me. Tech points. Okay, Grandmaster has died. Uh, died of severe stress. Now you are in charge. You are Persian, which is good. Uh, you have pretty good stewardship as well. You are commander. Yeah, you're a lotch. You are Persian, at least. You have a magnificent painting. Oh, I think some, uh, some of the, uh, people here ended up, uh, dying. I think that's what happened. Oh! Did he, like, usurp everything? Or did they all become command... Did they all become, uh, uh, holy orders rather than staying feudal? I guess so. I was not expecting that. Alright. It's fine with me. Need a new court chaplain. That can be you. That's fine.
you have been appointed my regent. Mm, this could be a problem. Uh, we are going to hold a feast. All of my vassals will be there. Medium mercenary garrison. I'm at 12 out of 8 domain size now. These existing recipes, hereby invite you. I don't like you either. This could cause some serious, serious issues. Welcome to my feast. Lost my air my marshal, Aaron Spabod. Uh, you are a commander. You are a commander. You are a commander. I'll go with you for now, then. Oh, I think you were a commander. Well, whatever. Not too concerned who the commanders are right now. Son was born to you. Let's go with Heritage. How old am I? I am 11. Raiders in Fergana. Rudimentary trade offices have been built. I can get this small mercenary garrison there. Yeah, whatever. Got a revolt there. Lost my chancellor. I'm not going to ask for help managing my titles. How did I just get into this war? Abbasid war for Sultan Musa's claim on Al Jazeera. Salman of Shahabid Revolt has declared Shahabid Civil War for Gavalkin, so that's not it. You inherited uh, that thing. Like, I did not get a pop-up about this. This had to have been an event. 41k. I've got 32k. Raise you. I have, like, no personal troops whatsoever here. Alright. Alright. Uh, held down the button. Well, this is actually very, very annoying. Got some money at least. They've been destroyed. Forgot to hold down control.
Alright, well, I guess I'll take you guys around there and start sieging down that stuff, but... This is not gonna be great. Sign Guardian. So you're not diligent, though. And I guess we'll leave uh, the current person in charge, then. When my kinswoman summoned me to her study, I thought it was time for another boring lecture on manners or morals. However, as I enter the room, she invites me to sit next to her and proceeds to read from a thick tome, which she calls The The Bible. It reminds me of the attack of the eye creatures. However, uh, let's see. Uh, the story is about kings and queens, Christians, and the Almighty God. I would become orthodox. Are you secretly orthodox? I guess that makes sense. Can I play now? This is stupid. Let me go with that. Yet again, I have been summoned to my kinswoman's study. She is cradling the tome from which she read last time, but today I am not given a lecture. Instead, we are having a conversation about Christians and God. She is asking me questions and patiently listens to my responses. I'd become orthodox. Uh, but this is not what the Herbod told me. I gain the trait Idolizer. This is probably going to go end poorly for me. Well, they still collapsed. Yep, nope, collapse them. Good. Alright. Might need to make my way to uh, their capital and try and trounce them there. Actually, let's come down there. Let's see if we can do this uh, from two fronts. Okay, I lost 3,000. They lost 12,000. And it was barely any war score. I'm winning this war. I'll just crush you guys. Not sure what the uh, supply limit is here. 16k. Alright. Uh, then let's actually have you guys uh, meet back up here. Meet there. going there. You're going all the way up there. We're in reports have reached you regarding your Aaron Spavod. Uh, I'll deal with this later. Let's go uh, try and crush that army. Taking that. That's why I'm sending you down there. this stuff down. Alright, well, uh, let's see, because I, I don't really want to uh, do this. I don't want to be involved in this war.
I mean, I should get a ticking war score pretty soon, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, it is about time to end the episode, so when we come back next time, I guess we're fighting off uh, the Abbasids, because uh, they were dumb, and they decided to attack us. See you next time, everyone.